In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to raise up the quality of your blog post using Elementor. I'm going to be showing you the basics of how to download, install and activate it. I'll also be showing you all the basic functionality of how to use Elementor within a blog post. So let's get started. So from the back end of your website, we head over to plugins, add new. In this screen on the top right, you can see for searching plugins. Now here we can look for Elementor. Now that we've searched for Elementor, now you can see in the search results, the very first one is obviously the Elementor. So now we're going to say install now. And WordPress is going to install Elementor into our WordPress website. And once it's installed, we're just going to activate it over here. So now all we have to do is wait for it to finally install. WordPress really needs a percentage indicator of how far it's installing something because you have like no idea. You just have to wait. Once the plugin's been installed, now we just go and activate it. And there we go. Elementor is activated on our website. Now let's go create a new blog post. To do that, we go to posts and we say add new. So now we have the new post page. Now it's the exact same page as before, except now we have an edit with Elementor button on the top. Now before we start editing with Elementor, I find it easier for myself that I set up the basics beforehand. So what are the basics? So the basics of the posts that I do before going into Elementor would be the post title, the featured image, the post categories, and the post excerpt. So let's get started with those quick. So let me add my title quick. The title will be my example Elemental post. The categories I'm going to choose is industry related and tips. The featured image, let me do my featured image. Uh, my excerpt. Now that I have the basic setup of my post, I personally would just publish the post from here and then edit afterwards from Elemental. Now you don't have to do it that way, but that's the way that I like to do it. Do it the way that you'd like. So if you'd like to publish at a certain date, then just save it as a certain date or save it as a draft if you wish. But for me now, in this example, I'm going to publish it. Now that my post has been published, I'm going to head over to Elementor and start the editing from there. So now that Elementor has been loaded, now we can see all the different options that we have on the left hand side that we can use to make a blog post. So we have the intersections, we have the titles, we have the paragraphs, images, you have carousels, you have progress bars, all that can be found within the left side over here of Elementor. So if you spot something you want to use, say like a heading, all you have to do is click on it, drag it across into the drag widget area and let go. Elementor will add the title to your post and inside a section automatically. When we need to, we'll edit the section settings to fit more to the design that we have in mind. Let me start quickly with my own blog post that I'm going to be showing you in this example. So right now I'm going to take out this heading and the section. I'm going to start it again. So for me right now, I'm going to add the text editor. I'm going to drag it in. So now that my text editor is in, I'm going to go to the left hand side and I'm going to start adding my text. So now that I have my first paragraph, the next thing I need is another title. But if you look on this left hand side, you see that I'm still in the settings of the text editor. Now to go find the title, as you can see where my mouse is right now, you have those nine dots icon. You click on that and it'll take you to the menu where all your widgets are sitting that you can choose from. So now I'm going to add my heading. Now before I add the words to my heading, I feel that the space between the paragraph and my heading is too small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on those nine dots. I'm going to look for something called space. I'm going to drag that and put it in between the paragraph and my heading. Here I have the settings on the left hand side of how much space I would like to be in between the heading and the paragraph before it. Now I think the space of 30 pixels is fine for me here. So let me add the text to my heading now. But before I carry on with the rest of my article, I want to edit the look of this heading. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click up on style. I'm going to change the text color to a more dark gray black charcoal barb. The typography, I want this all in uppercase. So I click on typography on the pencil. I go to transform and I say I want everything in uppercase. If I wanted to change the font of the heading, I can still go to typography. I go into the family and I can say, let's use Leto as an example. 
So let's go crazy with the style of this and just add shadow for the fun of it. I'm gonna put a three blur and I'm gonna put the vertical like two pixels. So now my heading has this 3D look going for it. It's just one of many things that you have the option to do with Elemental. Now I'm gonna use an inner column section so that I can have text and an image on different columns. I'm gonna drag the inner section widget and I'm gonna put it just behind the title of my blog post. Inside this little inner section, you can see I have two columns. So I'm gonna add the image on the left and I'm gonna put the text on the right. I'm gonna click on a nine dot icon. I'm gonna drag an image widget. I'm gonna put it on the left and I'm gonna let go. Then I'm gonna to go to the nine dot icon. I'm gonna drag the text editor and I'm gonna put it on the right. So the image on the left, I click on this and it says choose image. I go and I choose image, say upload the file that I want. I'm gonna want research. There we go. Insert. Let me add the text on the right. So I click on this widget and then you see on the left hand side I have the settings. I put my text and now we have the content for the section. So let's stylize the image a little bit. Please don't do this if you don't want to do this. I'm just showing you different options that you can use to stylize the look of your blog post. Elementor really does give you a lot of flexibility to make it truly your own. So I've clicked on this image widget. I'm gonna to go to style. Now I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom border radius. And this linking values icon, I'm gonna to toggle this off. So the values I've used is five for the top, 20 on the right, five on the bottom, and 80 on the left to give this sort of shape to the image that I used. You don't copy this as a style because you saw this on a video on YouTube. I'm just using this in as an example to really show you the versatility of Elemental. And in this image, we're gonna add a shadow to it as well. Why not, right? So underneath the border type, you say add the shadow. We're gonna give it a five blur. Spread, if you add a lot of spread, you can see how thick the shadow goes away from the image. So generally, you want all these things to be subtle so a five blur for me looks good over here i'm gonna keep black to a 50 percent transparency and there we go the text on the the right is fine but i feel like i don't want this text to be on the top of the section so as you can see i have these six dots now this is going to be editing the values of this section so if i click on this on the left hand side you can see we have different settings so what i'm looking for is vertically aligned for vertically aligned i'm going to say middle so now you can see once I've clicked middle, everything is vertically aligned in the middle. Now that the section is complete, I'm gonna add another space widget underneath this section. So now I click on this nine dot icon, I go down to space, I drag that until it's completely across the whole blog post, not underneath something, because underneath something, obviously it indicates it's gonna to go to that column underneath the picture as I release there. So I let go and I go underneath so that you can see that whole blue line is going across the blog post. Now I let go. Now it's exactly where I'd like it to be. Now if I click on this, I'm going to add another 30, just like I did on the space widget above. So now if I wanted to use the same heading style that I created for this blog post again, I right click on this heading and I say duplicate. So now you can see this pencil on the right hand side. I'm going to click and hold that and drag the whole widget all the way underneath the space and then let go. So now you can see my heading is not the bottom, but it's keeping the same design elements that I created in the first heading, so I keep everything uniform. So let me add the words to this heading. Now underneath this heading, again, I'm going to add another section. Now I have the option to use the section above or I can create a new one. Now for speed purposes and keeping it all uniform, I'm going to head to the section again. I'm going to hover over the six dot icon. I'm going to right click. I'm going to say duplicate and I'm gonna drag that same icon underneath to the second heading, and then I let go. Now stick with me here. If you get confused, just go back a little bit and re-watch what I've been doing again. Now to alternate this section, when I hover over the picture, you can see I have the icon on the right hand side, which is the pencil, which is to edit the image or drag it. But on the left hand side is a column icon. Now this is the settings for the actual column. But now if I click and hold and drag this to the right hand side, you can see I'm dragging the whole column. Now I let go and you see I've swapped the columns. So now that I've kept the same design settings, 
I have successfully alternated the way the text and the image gets displayed within my blog post. So now that the section is the way that I want it, I'm going to go ahead and change the image on the right hand side. So I click on the image, in the left settings, I say choose image, I upload it quickly. Here's market research, upload the image quickly, insert the image, and then I'm going to put the text for the section on the left hand side. And here's the section, very customized to the way that I want it. So now we're going to repeat the process again. So now we're going to add the space widget again. So let me just go find it on top. Here it is. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to say duplicate. I'm going to click on the, the pencil icon. I'm going to drag this until it goes across the whole post. Let go. I'm going to go up to this heading over here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to click on the pencil. I'm going to drag it down underneath the space. I'm going to add the text to this heading now. So now I'm going to go up to the first inner section because its layout alternates the second over here and I don't have to sit and drag columns across anymore. So I'm going to go up to the section, I'm going to right click, duplicate, I'm going to click and hold the six dot icon, I'm going to drag it down until I'm underneath the heading, I'm going to let go, I'm going to change the image for this quickly, I'm going to insert the image, then I add the text to this third section. And as you can see, it's very repetitive because I've got the style that I wanted down. So let me do this one more time. I'm going to go up to the space again. I'm going to duplicate the space. I'm going to drag it underneath until it goes across the whole post. I'm going to right click on the heading. I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to drag it underneath the space. I'm going to go to the second section. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to grab it by the six dot icon. I'm going to drag it all the way down underneath this new heading as well. I'm going to change the text of this heading. Let me add more text. There's a new text. I'm going to change the image of this section. I'm going to click on the image. I'm going to go to the left hand side into the settings. Choose my image. Upload it. I'm going to click on the text widget on the left. I'm going to add the new text for this section. And there we go. So now if I scroll up, you can see that we have made this whole new blog post. Once we're happy with this post and how we've designed it, all we do is we hit update and our post is done. And you can see that we actually bypassed anything that the theme would have thrown at us because we made our own picture design. We've added our own type of heading with our own font. We've added a little bit of a shadow dimension to both of these things. And we've made this post truly our own. We're not limited to just headings and sections and text, obviously. So now if I click on this icon on the Elementor dashboard, and I can scroll down to the general section, you see there's a whole bunch of other things that you can play with. So obviously, you, whatever you'd like. So if you wanted social media icons, you could drag the social media, let it go there. You can design it within the style tab. And you can add, say, your Facebook link, your Twitter link, your YouTube link. You can add custom ones. So like this one says WordPress. Let's change this to, so let's say LinkedIn. So we click on the LinkedIn. We say insert that as the fourth social icon. And we can add our link there. Maybe we don't want this widget at all. So now we right click on it and we can say delete. And it'll remove the widget from our post. So again, we're not limited to just text and images. You can explore different things and really make this on a whole other level. So I absolutely encourage you to go and explore, make mistakes, just try things out, just find your style and just have fun with it. In the next video, I'm gonna take this even one step further on a blog post and we're gonna make our own templates. We're gonna make templates with Elemental Pro and we're gonna make our own templates without Elemental Pro. I would suggest if you can afford it to get Elemental Pro, if you can't afford Elemental Pro, don't worry. I'm gonna show you the alternative free method. It has a couple of more steps. It's not as feature rich as Elemental Pro, but it is free. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it informative. If you have questions, send a comment below and let me see how I can help you out. And with that, I will see you in the next video.